Today on Globe News, New Raz Celebration, where students can get free food, beloved photography, and honoring Afro-Latina heritage. Keep watching, Globe News starts right now. Welcome to Globe News, I'm Mavani Burnham. First on today's episode, SLCC will be celebrating New Raz, a Kurdish holiday that honors the arrival of spring. New Raz is an official public holiday in many different countries across the Middle East and Central Asia. It's celebrated by many people with different nationalities and beliefs. There will be cultural performances, raffles, and various types of food. Celebrations will take place in the Student Event Center on March 21st from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. with free admission at the Taylorsville Redwood Campus Student Center. To learn more about this and other events, visit calendar.slcc.edu. At the Bruin Pantry, students are welcomed to take and enjoy food items such as fresh fruits and vegetables, meat, dairy products, bread, and much more. Some of these items are listed as one available and may be restricted to primarily the South City and Taylorsville campuses. The Bruin Pantry also offers personal hygiene items and feminine products. For more information on the Bruin Pantry, visit slcc.edu slash Bruin Pantry. In celebration of Martin Luther King Jr., the art gallery at the South City campus is showing photography of the beloved community project. Named after the term King popularized during his lifetime of activism, local grade school students highlighted their own beloved connections with their communities through photos that celebrate individual viewpoints. The exhibit runs until Thursday, March 23rd on the east end of the South City campus. To learn more about the project, visit slcc.edu slash beloved. And now for a look at what's happening around campus. The History Department is hosting the Asia Conference that will explore historical topics connected to Asia. The keynote speaker is Mark Blum, a professor of Japanese studies at UC Berkeley. Registration for the event is free and the conference will be held in the Student Center at the Taylorsville Redwood Campus on Thursday, March 30th at 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. And SLCC's annual Beyond the Binary event will be held in room 135 AAB building on the Taylorsville Redwood campus on March 30th at 1.30 to 3.30 p.m. The event will feature a talk from Dr. Colleen Kun, a psychologist specializing in working with transgender and gender expansive young people. For more events happening on campus, go to globeslcc.com calendar. The Gender and Sexuality Resource Center and Somos Mas are currently sponsoring a display highlighting eight Afro-Latino women in celebration of Women's Heritage Month. The display focuses on women across industries who model excellence, dedication, and service, as well as share an Afro-Latina identity. Among the figures honored are Cuban-American singer Celia Cruz, actor Tessa Thompson, and Venezuelan athlete Yulimar Rojas Rodriguez. Within um, spaces of higher education, there is space for us. And these posters are, you know, although again, it's a passive thing where it's not like in your face, it's it's visibility and it means something. And for those of us who can identify with these women, it's it feels good to have that in spaces where we usually don't see things like that. The display is ongoing and lasts until March 30th and can be found in the Student Center at the Taylorsville Redwood Campus. That's it for this episode of Globe News. To watch this episode and past episodes of Globe News, go to globeslcc.com or find us on Facebook slash SLCCSMC or on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube at SLCCSMC. I'm Mavani Burnham. Thanks for watching Globe News.